YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. Today we have something new to show you guys. Well, it's new to me anyway. It is the Palouse Light from 2A Armament. So I know some of you guys out there are watching this going, what's new about a lightweight AR from 2A Armament? That's what they're known for, right? Well, I thought the same thing until I realized that this is a forged receiver set. Yes, that's what I said, forged. Say what? So real quick, as always, I like to give you guys full transparency on how I come about getting these guns in for review. A buddy of mine reached out from 2A asking if I'd like to check out their new Forge receiver set. And honestly, I didn't have much interest as I figured it was just like every other Forge receiver set out there on the market. It wasn't until he explained to me what they were doing to these Forge receiver sets to give the customer the same weight and feel as their Balios Light receiver set, but at a much lower cost, like almost half the cost. Nice. Let's get into the specs so that I can further explain this. The Palouse Light Receiver Set is made from US Source 7075 T6 aluminum. It is forged and then machined with 2A signature pocketing to reduce weight and give it their enhanced aesthetic. It is also bead blasted and then Type 3 hard coat anodized black. Now some things that are different from the Balios Light Billet Receiver are that you will have to use a standard roll pin for their bolt catch on the Palouse Light unlike their threaded screw for the Balios. There will not be an integrated trigger guard and it weighs 13.1 ounces instead of 12.3 ounces. Now, if this seems upsetting for some of you out there, I want you to take a look at what you're gaining with these takeaways. The Plus Light receiver set comes in at a price point of $235 versus the Balios at $559. Damn! I think with that price difference, most of you can agree that it's a fair trade, especially when you can snag one of their cool aluminum billet trigger guards for only $15. I requested that they send me the Palouse Light in a 10.5 pistol configuration. It came with their 10 inch M-Lock rail with integrated QD points at both the front and rear, which is something I really appreciate because everyone has different preferences on where they like to run their sling. It also came with their T3 compensator, which makes this thing shoot so flat. T3 is also compatible with any suppressor that mounts to a standard A2 birdcage. In addition to that, there was a mil-spec trigger installed along with their full mass bolt carrier group which is machined in-house, a BCM charging handle, and a Magpul MOEK grip. Lastly, to top it all off, it had an SBA3 brace on their Builder Series buffer tube. I did add a couple of things to this build of my own, like Defiance backup sights, a split fix from Lunar Concepts, an EOTech XPS2 in gray, a Cloud Defense Owl weapon light in gray, a Rail Scales Carve hand stop in gray, and a Roan Industries two-point sling with bungee also in gray to match the black and gray scheme of this build. Okay, so let's get to how this thing performed out on the range. They explained to me that part of their target market for this platform would be law enforcement, which made a lot of sense to me because if a department was to take part in an agency purchase, they'd want something to be at a lower price point being government funded. Pretty smart idea if you ask me to machine a forged receiver set to bring their costs down for an agency or the general public, but still give the lightweight benefits and aesthetic for the end user, being the individual officer or a normal everyday citizen who's purchasing this platform. So when this gun came in, I got lucky with timing because I was invited to a law enforcement slash military class with Wes Doss of Kyber Training, taking place here in Las Vegas at Pro Gun Club. I've been training with Wes and his company Kyber Interactive for the last seven years. Wes conducts a law enforcement training every year called the Light Sights and Lasers Tour. He travels across the country providing two-day trainings free of cost to several different police departments. Wes has companies that sponsor this tour within the firearms industry that help make this tour happen. I figured what better way to put this gun to the test than by bringing it to a three-day law enforcement training. So for this review, I ran the Palouse Light in the class and shared the carbine with Annie from Seahorse Cases. Seahorse Cases is a sponsor of Wes's annual tour, so she came out to play as well. We ran a total of about 500 rounds through the gun, and I'm happy to say that it performed flawlessly. Sweet. If you've ever been to a rifle course, then you definitely know there's always a portion where you experience continuous drills. Repeatedly bringing the gun up and down to run a course of fire can become tiring due to the weight of the gun and the added attachments. Well, with the Palouse Light being extremely light in weight, this wasn't an issue whatsoever. Even with all the added attachments, Annie and I did not find ourselves tired or fatigued during the training at all. The entire build with everything I equipped on it only made the setup weigh 6.8 pounds. Running drill after drill, performing reloads, and standing with rifles slung while listening during the lecture portions weren't 
weren't hindered at all by a heavy gun. One of the days during the training, it rained for about six hours straight, and still the police performed flawlessly. A couple of members from the Korean military unit that were attending the training, they wanted to check out the police, so I had them run some build drills along with shooting on the move. Even with a bit of a language barrier, you could still tell they really liked the platform. What do you think? Oh, so nice, so good, awesome. During one of our lunch breaks, Annie and I decided to run a few build drills of our own. Just like the Balios Light, the Palouse is a flat shooter. The combination of the lightweight receiver set and the T3 compensator make this thing easy to shoot fast, even with a mil-spec trigger installed. Six hits, 121, first shot with a 4.9. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go again. Uh, first shot, 0.36, 109 was total time. We're still all in the big silhouette. The 104, first shot, 3-4. And yeah, we're still clean. All right, Annie, you're up. Annie told me she had never ran a build drill before, so I definitely let her have a few rounds at it. Even though the round count was a little more than a standard build drill, you can still see how flat this setup can be run. Now? All right, Annie's first build drill, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Sounded like it was seven shots. <laughs> what was the time? Does it say seven? Eight shots and 155, Whoops. that's still really good. All right, now what we're gonna do is have you bring the gun down a little bit okay. at a low ready and then bring it up on the buzzer, okay? Okay. I think you fired seven again. What was the time? 207, seven shots. Still all in, that's really good. Let's go again. Seven again. Let's see how the hits are. Seven shots, 205, all still in the silhouette. Let's go one more time for six. How many shots? Six. Hey, oh. <laughs> what was the time? 202. 202, all still in. All right, so let's talk about a couple of things I'm not a fan of. These are minor things, but I still want to note them. If you watch any of my reviews, then you know that the first thing I always change on any of my AR platforms is the grip. I just prefer the BCM grip because of the notch that extends under the trigger guard. For me, the small gap between the trigger guard and the grip tends to dig and pinch and becomes annoying after several hours of bringing the gun up and down in a class. The other things I would change would be the safety selector and charging handle. I just prefer ambidextrous controls on my AR platforms. Like I said, these are minor things that I prefer, and if you feel the same way, you can easily change them yourself for relatively cheap. Well guys, that's it for our review of the Palouse Light from 2A Armament. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please consider giving us a thumbs up down below as that does help us out a lot. I also wanna let you guys know that 2A Armament has informed me that if you guys go to their website and use the code QVO15, you'll get 15% off your entire order. So if you found yourself interested in this platform, definitely hit up their Builder Series section on their website and piece this build out for yourself with an added 15% discount. I wanna say thanks to 2A Armament for creating this discount for everyone and I appreciate them supporting our content. Content. If you end up putting this code to use, let us know down below in the comments what you picked up. If you're a Vegas local and want to pick up one of these receiver sets, then I'd head over to Venturi Munitions as they are stocking the Palouse Light receivers in shop. Thanks again for checking out the video guys. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. We post new videos every week. If you want to support our content, please check out the Patreon link down below. Members of our Patreon squad get first access to content, special discounts, contests, and giveaways. They are a big reason why we can continue to create content for everyone and we appreciate their support. You can also support our content by picking up some merchandise like this QBO multi-cam hoodie on our Teespring store, link down below. Thanks again guys, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Portions weren't hindered. <laughs> <laughs>
You can also support our content by picking up some merchandise, like our quick violent over multicam hoodie, which is, I don't know where, because I can't read the thing. <laughs>